Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling and really appreciate you guys joining me for today's video. We are going to be talking about what I call the dumbing down of America's bass anglers in today's video. I'm going to get into that, explain to you what it is in my opinion, and uh, be curious to get your guys' feedback on that after the video is done. So we'll get into that today. And before we get started, guys, I just wanted to invite everybody out there to consider becoming a channel member here of Intuitive Angling. Um, if you like the content, what's going on here, one of the best ways you can support the channel is by becoming a member. And members get extra videos every week that aren't seen by the public. I share a lot of secrets that I don't talk about on the channel here. Um, some access to my personal email address. And if you're interested, on my YouTube homepage, if you look at it, there's a little button down towards the bottom that says join. Just click that for all the information about becoming a channel member. So much appreciated. Okay, guys, get into this here. Um, dumbing down <clears throat> of bass angling, dumbing down of, of America's bass fishermen. What that, what is that? What that is is basically it's a trend that we've noticed over the past, specifically the past five years, with the increase in different type of technologies and fishing, about how anglers are losing some of the intrinsic, primal, more artistic aspects of fishing, what fishing is really meant to be. And those skills are being cast to the wayside uh, in lieu of technology, whether it be electronic technology or whatever. And I wanna talk about today how big of a tragedy that is and in a long-term uh, perspective, how negative, negative it is for every sing single angler out there. Now, I'll, let me give you guys an example. I'll equate this, what I'm talking about a little bit here, and I, I'll, I'll draw upon some of the uh, uh, my common, uh, you know, references to the Native American Indians who I'm, you know, fascinated by and I'm big fans of it. I'm always, I've been always been one of those people. I, I, I don't root for the cowboys. I root for the Indians all the time in, in movies and that type of stuff. <clears throat> but anyway, you know, for tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of years, uh, the indigenous peoples, the Native Americans, a lot of countries, they were masters of their environment. They could, not only could they survive in an environment, but they could thrive because they had the skills of survival. They, they could procure, procure uh, food, water, shelter, fire, you know, and, and, and be efficient at all those particular skills. They could identify edible and medicinal plants and they could figure out, they, they knew exactly by looking at a plant if it was medicinal or edible and how to apply that if it needed to come from the leaves or the roots or whatever. Primitive technology on a level that you've probably never even seen before. And today, guys, we have lost all of those skills. If you would take, if you would walk into any Walmart today and just pick out any person in Walmart and thrust them in a situation that the Native Americans were in this country, say, 2,000, 2,000 years ago, the Native Americans would look at that person as like, that's the most pathetic example of a human being that we've ever seen because they don't know how to do nothing. They don't know how to you know, make a fire. They don't know how to, you know, flint nap of an arrowhead. They don't know how to build a shelter. They don't know how to, you know, go out and collect herbs. And, you know, if somebody's got a cut, how to heal it through some medicinal means, they're absolutely ignorant. They've lost all their skills. That is the same way what is happening with bass angling here in this country. We are losing our primal skills in lieu of the technology that is robbing us from those skills. And this is when you lose so much about what fishing is. Because guys, fishing, here's one of the big misconceptions about bass fishing, shallow water bass fishing. People have this, this misconception that shallow water bass anglers, are, for some reason, they're just not quite as smart as deep water anglers. There's something about, <clears throat> there's been this, this um, incorrect presumption that if you're an offshore electronics angler that you're somehow more intelligent. That is not true whatsoever. It takes far more skills <clears throat> and far more <clears throat> intelligence on so many different levels to be a master at shallow water techniques than it does fishing deep water techniques. Because when you're fishing shallow water techniques, you have a limitless, an un just a limitless amount <clears throat> Of variables that you have to consider. 
you have to be <clears throat> a master at running the trolling motor into different current levels and wind speed. You have to be a master at running the trolling motor to know exactly the speed to come up on a particular target that you don't come in too hot or too slow or too close or too far away. And you've got to calculate the sunlight angle with that and the wind and the current in order to do that. Then at the same time, you have to make your casting accurate, your casting presentations accurately. And that can, that is an art form within itself, guys. Fishing is an art form. When you're talking about casting, it's like when you're going from back and left, left, left and right, back and forth, all that type of stuff, it is an art form within itself. So you have to be able to not only consider your boat positioning and boat movement, but your casting, your casting angles, your casting trajectories, uh, match it up with different, you know, lure and weight sizes. Then on top of that, you have to understand stealth. You have to be a hunter. You have to be able to um, analyze every set of environmental conditions and apply it to the shallow water situation you're in. You have to be able to understand bait profiles and bait colors and how a bait moves water and how the wobble or the sound of the hooks hitting against the bait are gonna affect the bass based upon their mood and their personality. There are so many variables to catching bass in shallow water that go far beyond looking at a freaking live scope screen and say, there's one over there, I'm gonna cast my drop shot over there, there he is, like that. And this is what I was talking about of the dumbing down of America's bass anglers because the more reliant that we get on technology and the more reliant that we are on some type of artificial um, crutch to enable us to catch fish, the further it pulls us away from these primal, intuitive, instinctual skills that really define what a, an angler is on all levels. And once you do that, you take away the art form of it. Because let's say, for example, you know, if you're a piano, if you like to play the piano, what if there was a piece of technology that you could, you know, put in some type of an earbud or whatever in the ear and all of a sudden start playing like Beethoven versus the skills of just somebody that's learning and have, has learned it in traditional means. The point of the matter is, is, is this the direction we want to go in? Do we want to get to the point where every single aspect that makes fishing really, really great, and it's not just catching fish. Catching fish, if you think catching fish is what is important in fishing, then you don't know anything about fishing. Fishing is so much beyond that. Fishing is therapeutic and it's healing to your mind, your body, and your spirit. That should be your number one focus on it. If you're out there just wanting to get bit and nothing more, then you're just, you've missed out on everything that the sport offers. And the farther we drift into technology where the sole goal of that technology is catching fish at the expense of losing everything else, then we have just absolutely, have, we've destroyed everything about what fishing is. So the point of the video, what I want to talk about here, guys, is um, try, to, try to get back to the roots of it. All you guys out there that, have, that did not get started or that got started later than a lot of us did where you're, you've been you know, introduced to the sport from technology from day one, <clears throat> just take a step back from that, man. Put that stuff down, pick up your rod and reel, Get out there, get that wind on your face, the sun on your face, the rain on your face, and get out there and get up close and personal with the, the fish. One of the best ways you can do it, guys, is by pitching and flipping. If you, if you catch bass flip, fit, flipping and pitching, you have to be intimate with the bass because in order to catch bass flipping and pitching at close range, you have to have some level of awareness, situational awareness, and stealth and you have to have a little bit of primal skills because it takes a lot more effort and it, not effort but it takes a lot more skills on every level to catch a bass that's 15 foot away from you in a flooded bush than it does thrown at some bass in open water that you're seeing on your live scope because you've got to have a ton of elements fall into play perfectly to generate that strike from 15 feet away and if you get back into that, then you will then you will start savoring 
what fishing really is and you'll start you know appreciating what that is because i can tell you one thing right now about fishing and bass fishing in general guys is i i have had a chance to fish with people of every walks of life i've i've fished with people that have terminal illnesses i fished with terminally ill children i fished with wounded warriors who could barely function uh, because of their you know battle injuries i've i've every socioeconomic, spiritual, religious background, whatever, I have fished with them over the past 30 years. And I can tell you one thing right now, the biggest impact <clears throat> that fishing has on people is the experience of being out on the water and connecting with nature beyond just catching fish. Catching fish is the bonus to the day. Everything else is being out there, being immersed in that environment and having that sense of the unknown. Because if you're out there and you have a sense of the unknown and then you have some, some type of manifestation in the form of like catching a fish, it just magnifies everything, you know, times a billion percent. I mean, on my on the water lessons, guys, I've had days out there where we struggle to catch one and then I've had days out there, they're just jumping in the boat and everything in between. And most <clears throat> every person that comes away, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> these dang allergies, um, about every person that fishes with me that comes away from like immersing yourself in the environment and noticing that eagle flying up above your head or noticing, you know, a weasel walking around a riprap bank and then maybe catches a fish or two during the day, has a better experience than going out there and getting into a school of them where you're catching them every cast. So point of the matter is guys, you know, treat fishing for what it is. It's a true art form. It's a true art form as much as any art form is out there. And uh, just don't get dumbed by, just don't get sucked in to getting dumbed down by technology like I see it happening all too common now. So. Let me, know, let me go know what you guys think about that. I thought it was an interesting topic to discuss here, and we'll talk later. See you.